Welcome to the Ocean Observatories Initiative. Join us as we conduct near real-time exploration in a changing ocean from anywhere on Earth. The OOI network will be one fully integrated system collecting data on coastal, regional, and global scales over a 25 to 30 year time period. In the past, it was very time consuming and costly to collect ocean data, particularly in challenging environments. As our understanding of the oceans has advanced, it's become increasingly apparent that many critical processes occur at timescales that can't be sampled using traditional means. At OOI, we will use innovative technology to sample the oceans 24-7. The OOI network is made up of four global sites covering high latitude regions in the Atlantic and the Pacific and the Northern and Southern Hemisphere. These sites will play a key role in our understanding of the global carbon cycle. Let's take a closer look at one of these stations in the Erminger Sea. It's composed of four moorings and three gliders that fly through the water, collecting data between the moorings. These will collect data at the air-sea interface as well as throughout the 2800 meters or one and a half miles of water that the mooring is housed in. In the Northeast Pacific are the regional scale nodes, a 900 kilometer or 540 mile network of fiber optic cables designed to examine a wide range of ocean phenomena from the tops of the waves to the seafloor. The cables will provide power and two-way communications that will connect arrays of at-sea instruments to shore. Instruments will transmit data as well as receive commands from the users on land. This site is unique in that the cabled arrays will be connected to a coastal mooring array, allowing for the synthesis of measurements through the water column up the continental shelf. This mooring will be one of two coastal moorings within the Endurance Array off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. Six gliders will sample the several miles between the mooring lines, giving a complete spatial picture. This coastal area is known for being a coastal upwelling zone, making it a highly productive area for plants and marine life. On the east coast, the Pioneer Ray is positioned in a dynamic environment on the continental shelf break as cold northern waters, illustrated in blue, merge with warm Gulf Stream waters, illustrated in orange and yellow. These are areas of intense exchange where heat, salt, nutrient, and carbon fluxes that move across the shelf break front are of scientific interest. Data collected from each of these diverse stations comes to land through the OOI's cyber infrastructure. This infrastructure makes it possible to deliver volumes of data from the sea to a large variety of users on land, including you, who can easily collect data and apply it to specific models, scientific research needs, and educational initiatives. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the OOI program. Please continue to visit the program website for updates as this exciting new capability becomes a reality.